Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're going to try to meld Mishra in Standard once again, and with the addition of Lively Dirge from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction, this deck is more consistent than ever before. So our goal is to attack with both our Frex and Dragon Engine, as well as Mishra claimed by Gix, to meld the two into Mishra lost to Phyrexia a 9-9. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, we get to choose three modes between making the opponent discard two cards, dealing 320 target, we can destroy an artifact or planeswalker, give our team menace and trample until end of turn, give the opponent's creatures minus one minus one until end of turn, which is pretty powerful when facing the Boros Convoke deck, which tends to make a lot of one ones, and then we can also make a pair of tapped power stone tokens, so there's no shortage of options. Now of course playing a 3 mana creature, then a 4 mana creature, waiting to untap so we can attack, can be a little slow and susceptible to interaction, so usually things play out a little differently, and we need to first interact with the opponent a bunch until the dust settles and we can eventually meld. And to make that happen we need some cheap interaction, so we've got cut down, copy of Play With Fire, as well as two copies of End the Festivities, specifically here for the Boros Convoke matchup, which tends to go wide. And then Duress usually finds a target when play against Boros or Monorat, the two most popular decks in Best of One, and then it also maybe helps take away a removal spell that the opponent has for Mishra, so it can help protect the combo. And then there's the Voldaren Epicure as a cheap vampire making a blood token, can help enable our Harvester to take out larger creatures. And then the blood token is also a way of discarding our own Frax and Dragon Engine, since often we don't want to actually cast it for 3 mana, and instead we prefer discarding it to immediately unearth it for 5 mana. That way it can attack with haste, immediately maybe draws 3 cards when it enters from the graveyard, so that can also refresh our hand and help us in those grindier matchups. And then if we already had a Mishra on the battlefield, we can immediately melt into Mishra lost to Phyrexia. And then the cool thing, if you unearth the Dragon Engine and then end up uh, melding into Mishra lost to Phyrexia and they end up destroying Mishra, then you still get the Dragon Engine back into the graveyard, so you can maybe unearth it a second time. And then at 2 mana we also have Bitter Union as a way to discard and draw, and also a way to maybe give our team haste, so we can maybe play Mishra and immediately give it haste to meld into Mishra lost to Phyrexia, and the opponent may not see it coming. And then a Lively Dirge we're not going to cast for 2 mana, so it's either 3 mana, 4 mana or 5 mana if we want both modes. And all the modes are very useful here, so we can start by searching our library for any card and put it into our graveyard. So that can maybe just get a Dragon Engine so it's ready to unearth on turn 5 and draws 3 cards. Or we can maybe get our Mishra if we already have a Dragon Engine in play maybe. And then if we also paid the extra 2 mana, we can return up to 2 creature cards with total mana value 4 less from our graveyard to the battlefield, so after putting Mishra into our graveyard we can immediately reanimate it, so it's basically 5 mana, put any 4 drop in our deck onto the battlefield, which can be very powerful at helping us assemble Dragon Engine plus Mishra. And then, of course, by bringing back a creature from the graveyard, it also satisfies the Dragon Engine's condition. So just by getting back a Dragon Engine with a Lively Dirge, we can already discard and draw three. So that can be a nice way to refuel in those grindier matchups. And in addition to the Dragon Engine, we can also maybe get back our Voltaire and Epicure, since we can get total mana value four or less split among two creatures. And then we've got a Bitter Triumph as a bit of instant speed removal, also a discard outlet, which can come in handy to maybe set up our graveyard by discarding a Dragon Engine. And then at 3 mana there's Liliana, more interaction, another discard outlet. And again, we don't mind playing these games where we're low on resources, because eventually we'll hit 5 mana and we'll get to unearth a Dragon Engine and kind of take over from there. And then as we said, we're not often casting this for 3 mana, but it is always an option. And then the Celestis I also like, since if we want to cast Dirge with both modes we do need 5 mana, and then at the same time this can double up as a discard outlet, as well as still letting us cast any of our 1 drops after playing the Celestis on turn 3, so it's very mana efficient. And then at 4 mana we've got Mishra, as well as a 1-off Shieldred as another card we can maybe search up with our Lively Dirge, and of course a nice source of life gain against the burn decks. Of course Mishra can also gain us life, but only for attacking, and sometimes we go to play defense and then a mana base has some good utility lines as well with the Restless Vents, another discard outlet that can turn into a 2-3 menace, and then a one-off Cavern of Souls either naming Vampire to let us play Epicure and Harvester, or it can name Phyrexian to make Mishra, Shieldroot, and the Dragon Engine uncounterable, so that can be very useful against control decks, and then a bunch of black-red dual lines for mana fixing, and the channel lines for additional utility. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. 
Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, our hand's not particularly exciting, but uh, we've got some good interaction, some redraws. So I'll give it a shot, and then I'll guarantee my two drop on curve. If we don't need these early removal spells, we can discard them to a bitter union. And then we're looking for Mishra and our dragon engine, one of which we can also maybe tutor up with our dirge. Deep Cavern Bat, not too much of a problem when we have two cheap answers to it. Takes cut down. Okay, so can play Epicure, keep a play with fire. And then we just want to keep hitting our land drops to eventually maybe cast Dirge with both modes on Spree. Bat enters, we'll play with Fire the first one. And they can take Cut Down if they'd like. So we're trading some uh, resources back and forth. The plan next turn probably cast Bitter Union. Right now, Celestas is an option too, which I don't mind. And then we can still maybe use the Blood Token in the opponent's turn if we'd like. But Celestas does set up maybe a bigger, lively dirge. I wouldn't be shocked to see maybe a Glissa or a Gix on three mana. And then on four, of course, Shieldred. Opponent looking at Field of Ruin, perhaps. Got plenty of basics to search up if needed. And for now, I think I hang on to my Blood Token. Next turn we can just cast a Bitter Union, get rid of our worst card. And still maybe Bitter Triumph. If they Field of Ruin now, I can actually Bitter Triumph end of turn. I'll just get a Mountain. And Boseju to blow up Celestus. Okay. So, question is, do we want to Bitter Triumph the Bat? The Bat doesn't really bother me. And it's possible we need to Bitter Triumph something scarier in the future. Whereas Cutdown is not going to answer it, so I'll just take my turn. Found Mishra, perfect. So, Bitter Triumph is a way to give Mishra haste as well if needed. I think for now, just casting Mishra is reasonable. If they remove it, which is somewhat likely, then we can always bring it back with Dirge while maybe also putting our Dragon Engine in the graveyard. And this way we also trigger Mishra's ability while we attack with Epicure. So drawing an untapped land next turn, assuming they take out Mishra, would be acceptable. It's going to be Gix's command, giving the bat some counters, taking out Mishra. So, yeah, all according to plan so far. We drew the dragon engine. So, yeah, if I play Bitter Triumph and draw into an untapped land, I can still cast a dragon engine. And then next turn we would have the mana to bring back Mishra with Dirge and give it haste. So that's one potential avenue. It does mean I have to discard Bitter Triumph, but maybe that's acceptable. If I just discard the Dragon Engine, there's no way I can melt next turn, unless we draw another one. So we'll give that a try. Sadly, our land enters tapped, but a Harvester is still capable of taking out a Bant with two Blood Tokens. Opponent's got another bait. Now the good news too is if they leave us with a dragon engine, I can discard it with a blood token, and then this can draw us three cards basically. Opponent does have to take care of Harvester. Alright, so they just have a couple bats left. So yeah, we could discard dragon engine and then unearth it. Does mean I no longer have a dragon engine to combine with Mishra, but we're kind of out of cards here. So I think that's acceptable. And 
and then a blank leaf cliffs is gonna go to waste. Okay, get an attack in. And then cut down plus Liliana can maybe clean things up next turn. Ooh, Archfiend, that one's scary. Although there's Mishra. Okay. So if I cut down the bats, Liliana minus, they'll still have an Archfiend. But uh, we're not necessarily dead to it next turn. So if I dirge for another Dragon Engine and next turn, I'm not going to have the mana to both unearth Dragon Engine, play Mishra, and give it haste. So I think I'm better off hanging on to the dirge. Opponent actually never minds. Sacrificed Archfiend, leaving the Deep Cavern bat, so I hadn't even noticed. Okay, in that case, I think we have a bit more time to set up our combo. So Dirge is probably the better card to take since it both gets back Mishra and can put a Dragon Engine in Graveyard. So that's what they do. Okay, so I guess we're just on the lookout for another Dragon Engine. It's no fun when they hit back. This card probably land to the Blood Token, unless we want to leave the Blood Token as kind of an enabler for the Dragon Engine. Although we may as well draw into another Dirge. Or an answer for a bat. Okay, another Liliana. That works. So they'll likely give the dirge back. Hit for one. And then let's assume I do go for Dragon Engine here. We're still kind of with a similar situation where I wouldn't be able to play Mishra and Unearth. So I'll just wait. Sorin is acceptable. I take no joy in this. Draws him a card. But it's necessary work. And it's just a land. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer to melding Mishra. Opponent dealing with Liliana. So I think we go for a lively dirge here, both modes. And then search up a dragon engine and get back Mishra. Could also go for Harvester here, but uh, let's just go for Mishra, keep it nice and simple. And then we can play another Epicure. Potentially sag Bitter Union as well, so we can take out Sorin at once. And if our opponent doesn't top deck an answer to our combo next turn, we should be able to meld. So they get one draw step here. And we still have a backup Mishra. Something like a Graveyard Trespasser would be annoying, since that could exile our Dragon Engine. Preacher does not do it. All right, so we should be good to go. And go ahead and attack. Can give their team minus one, minus one. Deal three to the Preacher, and then a last mode, I guess, uh, create a pair of power stones. Maybe even better would have been to take out the bats with the three damage, and then cut down would have been able to take out Preacher since it would have been a 1 3, so small enough to cut down. 
but uh, we'll give our opponent a chance. Maybe they'll stick around. Opponent back up to 13. Can't take our turn. Play Shieldreds. Go to attackers. And did they draw an answer to Mishra? Looks like it. Okay, better triumph. So we'll just try again next turn. Since we can still dirge returning Mishra. And then next turn bring back the Dragon Engine, gain some more life with Shieldred as well. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with what looks like a Keeper. Got a nice 1, 2, 3, 4 curve potentially. And yeah, against the Red-White Convoke cut down could find better targets if they play Warden of the Inner Sky, but given my hand of Harvester and Liliana, I'm happy just trading removal for one of their creatures. And then Dirge can eventually get the Dragon Engine, so this could work out. Opponent with another Epicure. If they have Warden, they could immediately grow it, but it doesn't look to be the case. Alright, so let's say I play Liliana. I could just minus for starters, since there's nothing in hand I actively want to discard. And then uh, take it from there. And next turn they could maybe play a hasty recruiter to finish off Liliana. I don't think I care. Since the plan would be to play Mishra and then Dirge to get back Dragon Engine. So it's not like I need Liliana as a free discard outlet. Alright, there's Warden. Epicure can maybe help us take that out. They also have the Demolition. Alright, that's scary. So all of a sudden they've got a pretty big board presence. So I can play Mishra. And then hope to draw a fifth land so we can dirge searching the Dragon Engine and putting it in play. So then on the following turn we can finally uh, meld. Could also play Epicure to take out Warden, but that's about it. So I think we go for Mishra. Question is whether I plus Liliana. So I can maybe minus two next turn and then discard Epicure. Or we can keep Epicure to uh, maybe finish off a Warden next turn with the extra blood token. There's also a world where we use Dirge to just get back some vampires. I think it's still worth it to plus. Even if we just take out a token with a minus two next turn. Opponent does have the recruiter in hand. And then, yeah, hoping for an untapped land next turn. Or just drawing the Dragon Engine would work. Can also just put the Dragon Engine in the graveyard if we don't draw the land. And then unearth it, assuming we draw a land afterwards. Opponent with another Demolition. So Warden can activate twice or they could convoke a Knight Errant. Alright, well all these 1-1s one could eventually die to a Melded Mishra. That's the hope before they play an Anthem effect to give them plus one plus one. And looks like Knight Errant missed. And we found the land. Okay, so... Dirge with both modes. And get the Dragon Engine. And I can even get back Epicure. So now Harvester can take out the Warden if we'd like. I'll draw three. And then Liliana could plus. I don't think the minus does much. If I plus, it's harder for the opponent to go land plus recruiter next turn. 
or play that Anthem effect we're worried about. And then we'll just pass a turn, hope they don't have removal. If they do, we have another Dirge to get back either one of our creatures. And yeah, there's another Recruiter discarded. Oof, case of the Gateway Express, that's what I wanted to avoid. So they can take out Mishra. So I'll have to wait another turn cycle to meld. And in the meantime, our opponent can do some damage with the case. Opponent goes face. I think I might be okay just trading for the Knight Errant. And then take five. Next turn, bring back Mishra, and then turn after we can unearth, potentially. Just want to preserve our life total as much as possible. Wow, and the festivities, that's beautiful. So, cast and the festivities. Get back Mishra. And then plus Liliana as well. Because why not? And then I can search for maybe another dragon engine. Well, that was the perfect turn. And that's why we run a few copies of End the Festivity, specifically for this matchup. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. This hand seems functional. We can play Cavern on a Vampire to play our Harvesters. And then Dragon Engine just waiting for Mishra. Opponent on the Teamer Landfall deck, it seems. So, they have some sorcery speed interaction, not much at instant speed. Still probably okay playing the Harvester, so we have an answer to some problematic creatures like Nyssa in play already. And then we can maybe just cast the Dragon Engine to start attacking. Don't think they have a way of exiling it, so at the very least it will end up in the graveyard. And the festivity is probably not going to be super useful, so we can discard it to the Reunion. Opponent's got the adventure here to bring back a land. Virtue of strength, I believe. Yep. Alright, and then Dirge can eventually get back Mishra. That will require a bit more setup, but for now, play Dragon Engine, hit for three, start applying a bit of pressure, and then next turn Reunion to try and hit our land drop. If they play Nissa, then I'll probably be forced to play Harvester. Drawing the land is perfect. So play Harvester, allowing us to finish off Nissa. Otherwise, the first Harvester activating plus End of Festivities also could have done it. But this seems like a cleaner solution, since I don't think End of Festivities is going to be particularly useful going forward. Alright, so next turn we can use Dirge for... 5 mana to both find Mishra and put it in the graveyard. Sadly, that leaves us 1 mana short of also giving the team haste with the reunion. If we already had Mishra in graveyard, then we would have been able to meld next turn. Put on now with Analyst, which next turn can get back a whole bunch of lanes. But uh, yeah, I think we stick to the plan. Can also take out the Analysts, which is maybe safer. Or I can just attack. Problem is, if they play another Nissa. Then, let's see, play a land, they would be one short of sacking the Analyst afterwards. So, I guess it's not a huge threat right now. So I should maybe keep Harvester for another Nissa if that shows up. Either way, we can attack, and then Dirge, bringing back Mishra, basically. So I may as well do that now. And then hope they can't wipe the board next turn with the uh, ill-timed explosion. Points at 7. The fact that they didn't chump sort of implies that they don't have the explosion to wipe the board. So just getting back Nissa And passing the turn, okay. So yeah, we should be good to go. Maybe play out my land. And then go to attackers. 
if they somehow mess with or meld, we can always maybe use Harvester to take out Analyst. But now let's just attack. Can deal three to the opponent directly and then make them discard two cards and then Tramplant Menace so they cannot chum block. And that's enough for a concession. Opponent can sack Analyst, get some fetch lands back, but that's not going to keep them alive. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with what looks like a Keeper. Facing an aggressive red-green deck with Kumano on one. So I think I prefer Duressing, since Apicure is not going to be a particularly great blocker. So next turn Swiss Spear would be enchanted by Audacity. So probably want to prevent that from happening. At least Giant Growth is only a one-time deal. And our opponent's going to go for it. Okay, next turn they can refuel with the Rens Resolve. And then I think we prefer keeping a Bitter Triumph as opposed to playing a Harvester. Which is not going to block Swiss Spear all that well. So Rens Resolve resolves. Finding Ancestral Anger. Now if they anger the etching, I'll probably better triumph that one instead, but opponent wisely going for Swiss Spear. Alright, so I will discard a card here since our life total matters. And then end the festivities doesn't look all that appealing right now. Okay, so just gotta name Vampire. Epicure plus Harvester. Hope to trade off some resources, and then Dirge could also get back our Vampires. But now three unknown cards in hand can represent all sorts of pump spells. So it's going to be risky to block Swiss Spear, opponent with another Ancestral Anger, so they're kind of going off here. Alright, I can block Etching with Harvester, hoping they don't have a Giant Growth. And then both creatures trample, so there's no real point in jumping with Epicure. Is there a merit to double blocking Etching? If they have nothing, I just lose an extra creature for free. If they do have Giant Growth, it's still not enough to trade, so I don't think there's a point. Alright, so we're at 4. And then, yeah, I guess Etching also made it so it exiled the Harvester, so we can bring it back with Dirge. So, what are my options? Just go digging with our Blood Token, or I can just search up a Dragon Engine to next turn return, but that's probably too slow. Yeah, this is rough. Can play Haunted Ridge. And I think just pass a turn. We are prepared to chum block the Swiss Spear. And then Mirex could also be a factor this game. Alright, opponent channeling their own Crucible. In that case, I'll just trade for a token. Okay, so what's our plan? Next turn I can play lands. Dirge, and then getting back Epicure plus Dragon Engine to get a fresh hand. That's probably my best bet, so no need to use the Blood Token. As much fun as Shieldred would be here. I mean, it is a close call. But yeah, we're dead to anything if we get Shieldred, any Pump Spell, any Haste creature. At least Epicure Dragon Engine gets us two blockers. And then the three extra cards hopefully will come in handy. All 
All right. So next turn we could play a Liliana and another Dragon Engine. Show off is not quite lethal by itself, unless they've got another pump spell, which seems to be the case. And it's a Tyvar stand for two. All right, GG's. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is missing quite a few pieces, but uh, we have a bit of interaction and then maybe dirge to uh, get a dragon engine and refuel. I'll give it a try, see how it works out. And drew the dragon engine, that helps. Yeah, I guess we'll have a look here. Opponent to blue-green ramp deck. Take the tide. Now the Scribe Gorger is Graveyard Hate, so we would prefer to take that out. Could do that now with End of Festivities plus Play with Fire. Not as clean as a cut down would have been, but uh, yeah, I guess that's worth it. Slow the opponent down a little bit. Turn 3, Dragon Engine. And then turn 5, maybe, search up Mishra and get it back. Don't expect too much removal from the opponents. Consuming time to maybe bounce her stuff back is not a disaster. Invasion of Zendikar for a bit of ramp. Do we trade if uh, Vorak attacks? Dragon Engine ends up in the graveyard. I can still use Dirt to bring it back. Although then we don't have reliable access to Mishra. Our opponent will be able to play Tyra next, next turn regardless if they have another land drop, which is likely. And it's going to take me another two turns to cast Dirt for five mana to get Mishra. In the meantime, we're going to take a lot of damage from the Rex. So maybe it is fine to trade. And then the plan next turn is to maybe bring back the engine to draw three. Yeah, close call. If I let this transform, next turn Tyranax. Opponent can attack us for potentially 15 damage. Turn after I get Mishra. Yeah, that feels too slow. So I need to trade and then hope they can't play the Tyranax next turn. Well, drawing Mishra was the best case scenario. So next turn we could unearth Dragon Engine and meld. And our opponent does not have the land, but they might have some other interaction up their sleeve. I think we still go for it here. Don't have any great alternatives. And at least unearth cannot be countered. I think I decline on this since uh, dirge is going to be pretty useful. That works. So we can make them discard two cards, deal three, and then maybe just go for power stone tokens. I guess, never mind, our opponent could have the instant to put two creatures into play, in which case Menace and Trample could actually be useful. There's a new Spree card that for six mana total can essentially cheat two creatures onto the battlefield at instant speed. So if that's the case, Menace and Trample will make it a little bit more difficult to block. All right, opponent did not have it. This card's another Consuming Tide, which they could have cast, but I guess wouldn't have been very effective. So yeah, the ramp deck just missing one key land to play Tyranax. Does have the Bounce Spell for Mishra, but we can just reassemble the combo next turn if we want to. And in the meantime, Mishra plus Harvester looks good. Now we may not have Haste next turn. To meld Mishra once again. And our opponent has seen enough. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Can keep a play with fire. And then turn three. Liliana could be effective. Facing turn one Dream Thief. So it could be maybe a blue black deck or black reds can also maybe play Dream Thief as an evasive creature to enable Gix. 
play with fire could be a good answer to a bat. So I'm gonna keep it in hand, take the one for now. And then end of turn we could take out a Dream Thief if we'd like, since it also soaks up the minus two from Liliana. And then Bitter Triumph discard Dragon Engine, a little risky in the face of a Graveyard Trespasser, admittedly. But that card is going to be kind of annoying regardless. Or I can discard Celestis and then just leverage Liliana. Liliana would be a decent answer to a Trespasser at least, so if they do discard the Dragon Engine, maybe that's kind of a fair compromise. Find another Celestis. So, might have preferred uh, discarding one in hindsight. There's a Preacher instead, so that's kind of the best case scenario for Liliana. We drew Mishra, so if things go all according to plan, turn 4 Mishra, turn 5 unearth the Dragon Engine to meld, but things are probably not going to go as smoothly. Edict to answer my Liliana is acceptable. Well, I think I go for Mishra. We could also test out the waters with Shieldreds and use that as bait, basically. Yeah, sure. We're still in a good spot if they cannot answer it. But we'll quickly find out if they can. They sure can. Okay, play Mishra and then just a tapped cliffs. No need to give Mishra haste with a bitter union, even though it's an option. And it looks like they can take it out. Well, the good news, at least if we unearth the dragon engine, is that we'll get to draw three cards. So we just want to try and empty our hand as much as possible. Hope to find a dirge to bring back Mishra. Opponent with the deepest betrayal. There's another Mishra, okay. So we can play Celestis, play Mishra, and uh, yeah, opponent's down to one card in hand. So there's a good chance that they cannot take it out once again. Discard Celestis to the Betrayal. Two cards in hand. What's it gonna be? Preacher, I'll allow it. And a Dream Thief, alright. So, Mishra lost to Phyrexia is incoming. Creatures minus one, minus one. Deal three to probably the Preacher, or we can attack past it with Menace and take out uh, Deepest Betrayal instead. That might be better. Okay, so play land first since we're about to discard. And this way we also don't trigger the Betrayal's ability, even though we would be able to take out the Bat token pretty easily. Can give Harvester haste to attack with that as well. And then as we said, three damage, minus one, minus one, and then Menace and Trample. So finish off the Deepest Betrayal. And Preacher can block any of our creatures. Points at nine. Possible that attacking with the Harvester wasn't worth it in case they top decked an answer to Mishra, because then we would have been able to play another Mishra and meld once again, but we should be in a pretty good spot regardless. Preacher makes a 1-1, one, one, which we can just uh, take out next turn. And then we can even play another Mishra just to trigger the ability to drain the opponent, should that be necessary. Opponent can draw with uh, Dream Thief. And then Epicure also makes a second blood token, so Harvester can take out Preacher potentially. So yeah, not sure what our opponent's waiting for here. Maybe first time seeing Mishra melded. So we're at 16. And we're just gonna activate Temple to bring back the Deepest Betrayal. Fair enough. I guess we don't use Celestis. 
Although, again, the bank token doesn't really matter. So, sure. Don't need to cut down. And then we'll stick to the plan, I guess. Other opponent should just be dead unless they have removal. Minus one, minus one, three damage. And they can discard. And that does it. All right, so we got to see Mishra in action. And yeah, Lively Dirge is the perfect addition for this deck, giving you a ton of flexibility, not only to get the Dragon Engine and draw three, but also maybe get your one-off Shield Roots in matchups where you need some life gain, or of course just get Mishra if you already have the Dragon Engine, and then on occasion even get back a couple cheap Vampires. So there's a lot going on with this deck, and it's the most consistent version of Melding Mishra I've uh, seen so far. So yeah, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to see more Mishra in standard, so that'll do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.